The Blue Lions are one of the three houses in Fodeland's Officer's Academy. Featuring students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, it is led by Dimitri, Crown Prince of the Kingdom. The name and symbol come from the nation's founder, Lu, the King of Lions. Fergus, being a home to many notable knights, is known for its citizens' penchant for lances and spears. If you want to see my build for Dimitri, you can find that in a previous video, Fodeland Wins, which will be linked in the description. He's also been releasing heroes, so alongside that link, I'll put the official trailer to introduce him and his skill set. Also, just a reminder that this is all theory crafting. None of it's leaks or news, so sorry if you got that impression. As with my Black Eagles video, the units chosen for this summoning focus come from the video Welcome to the Blue Lion's House, which features three specific lions as its focus. The first of these is Dadu, Dimitri's loyal retainer. He originally hails from an area of Fergus called Dusker, which is destroyed after it was blamed for the assassination of Dimitri's father, as well as a number of other nobles. Dadu was among the few survivors, saved by the passionate Dimitri. His backstory and appearance have some similarities to Ogma from the Arcanea games, though Ogma was a slave instead of a member of a genocide group. Dadu starts three houses with a D-plus rank in Axes and a D in Armor, both of which are strong skills for him. Because of that, his Academy version has been determined to be an axe-wielding armor unit. Without much knowledge of the weapons of the game, I gave Dadu a hammer to deal with armored units. His assist skill is Swap, a skill commonly given to those who would step in front of their allies during battle in order to defend them, something Dadu would be willing to do for Dimitri. His A passive is part of a new skill line, called Stationary Defense. It's based on his personal skill from Three Houses, Staunch Shield, by increasing his defense by 8 until the end of the next player phase, so long as he ends his turn without actually doing anything. Due to his noticeably high defense, as well as the defense increasing A skill, adding defense opening as his C skill in order to raise the defense of his allies seems like a smart move, both strategy and flavor-wise. Sylvain was the next unit introduced. A childhood friend of Dimitri, he has neglected the ways of honor and tradition, instead of preferring to spend his time hitting on women, though he hates it when he makes anyone jealous during his flirtations. The pre-existing Fire Emblem character I see him as being most like is Sane from Blazing Blade. If we have to base it on characters and heroes, I guess Luke would be the closest alternative, just off the top of my head. Sylvain's highest starting weapon ranks belong to axes and lances. Due to the third unit in this video, I chose to focus this version of him on axes. While that isn't common for Kane-like characters, and the Blue Lions have, in my opinion, the most obvious pair of possible Christmas Cavaliers in this game, I don't think we need to be beholden to that perfectly. He also has a D rank in Cavalry, making him already decently proficient at it, so he is a Cavalry unit here. I'll be the first to admit that his weapon of choice is entirely self-serving. As with Jill way back in my Bjork and Laguz video, I gave Sylvain a fire sweep axe of a vain hope that, someday, it would get added to the game and I could finally give it to Legion. I know it isn't going to happen, but a man can dream. Sylvain has Noontime as his special skill. As he's quite the charmer, I imagine that his looks are important to him. If he took any damage in battle, he'd likely want it to get cleaned up quickly so you could either look beautiful for any ladies watching, or have manly scars immediately. Either way, he would like a healing skill. Like with Dadu, his A passive is based on his personal skill. Called Flanderer in Three Houses, it allows him to deal more damage and take less damage while adjacent to female units. Unfortunately for him, Faye currently has no ability to tell the difference between male and female units. Because of that, the closest we have is Attack Defense Bond, allowing him to deal more damage and take less physical damage when adjacent to any ally. Sylvain also has Wings of Mercy. In case any cute ladies are in trouble, he can be the dashing knight riding to their aid and protecting them. I'm sure he'd love that. The last unit in this episode of Focus Emblem is Ingrid. Another childhood friend of Dimitri, Sylvain, and Felix, 
She is the daughter of Count Galatia of Fergus. While she is betrothed to another noble at the age of 13, she was killed soon after, during the tragedy of Dusker. This led to Ingrid's prejudice against survivors of Dusker, possibly including the Duke. Her family is also pushing her to marry soon, as despite being noble, they're falling on hard times as the game begins. Due to the marriage part at the end, she appears to have similar motivations to Charlotte, though her personality and backstory still have wide differences from the money maiden. Ingrid is also the other half of the Christmas Cav pair I mentioned earlier, being the Abel to Sylvain's Cain. This comes from not only their position as friends from an early age, but also the fact that both are proficient on horseback. While Ingrid is good on flying mounts, I chose to put her on a horse to show off those Christmas cap chops. Unlike Sylvain, she also has a traditional cavalier weapon, the lance, since that's her highest starting proficiency among weapons. The specific lance given to her was the harmonic lance. Much like Hubert last week, Ingrid's personal skill, Lady Knight, raises the damage of gambits. The harmonic lance, being the lance version of the Wo Dao and the Wo Gun, deals increased damage on specials instead. She has Moonbow as a contrast to Sylvain. While his special skill reflects the middle of the day, Ingrid's instead represents the middle of the night. She carries forward the stationary line introduced by the Dew, having stationary attack 3, which raises her attack by 8 until the end of the next player phase, and she ended the last phase without using an action. I had to give at least one cavalier a reference to the class skill Kanto, so I gave Ingrid drawback. This is also a skill that belongs to Roderick, another iteration of the archetype I feel like she's a part of. Finally, due to her admittedly not overly high, but still definitely respectable speed, she carries Speed Spoke 3 as her C skill, making her this focuses 5 skill unit. Remember that over last weekend, I made a video about units from the Black Eagles called Holy Justice, which is linked in the description below. That sits alongside Fodland Winds, the video where I gave my heroes interpretations of the Three Houses Lords before their release in Heroes. I hope to have my next video, in the last Three Houses video for the time being, release on Saturday, featuring units from the Golden Deer. So keep an eye out for that one. Until next time, happy summoning.